Hello and welcome to the chaos. This video is going to be a little bit different than my usual videos. Um, as you can see, I have a special guest on the show today. This little guy is a lion head rabbit. The black tort is the color. So he's got like, the orangey color in his fur to black tips on his ears and his paws and on his little nose. Um, he's a, a lion head is a special breed that has wool around the face, like a lion's mane, and then no wool on the saddle here, and then a little skirt. Um, so this particular video is going to be about my most recent trip. Uh, we went to Louisville, Kentucky for a rabbit show. This is actually the American Rabbit Breeders Association's 100th convention. ARBA is the uh, acronym for that. And um, for those of you who mostly come to this channel for my crochet stuff and craft shows, you may not have known that I also show rabbits. Um, and have been doing for two or three years now. I usually show Silver Fox, and I recently got some Creme d'Argent. These little guys are my daughters. Um, I was thinking I would go outside and sit with one of my bigger bunnies for this intro. Um, but it's quite cloudy outside and I was kind of worried that as soon as I sat down to do it, it would start to rain on me. So decided against that. So we just have this little guy instead. He doesn't have a name yet. She just picked him up at convention and hasn't decided on a name for this little guy. But he's very sweet. We'll see how long he wants to hang out in my lap. Um, so this video um is mostly going to be a montage of some pictures and things that i got from the show uh i actually put a request out into my facebook group um for anybody that had pictures that they wouldn't mind sharing to send them to me and i got a great response so i have quite a few pictures to show you um here's a few facts about rabbit showing if you're not familiar with it um the arba the american rabbit readers association is sort of the national governing body so you could you could kind of um compare it to the akc for dogs uh, and they ha hold the standard of perfection for all the different breeds of rabbits we currently have 52 accepted breeds of rabbits the 52nd was just passed at this past convention and e each of those rabbits um can have more than one variety within that same breed which would be like different color variations usually um I, there's a few that only have one variety but a lot have several like lion heads have i think six or seven different varieties and there was a new variety being presented this past convention um i don't think they passed i don't think they passed yet but they'll continue to present they can present again next year for another chance at passing a new variety um, and they did just have a new variety passed at last year's convention um the smoke pearl which is a very pretty sort of shaded like dove gray color with darker tips very very pretty very pretty color um so the 52 rabbit breeds um they go from the great big flemish giants now, all the way down to the little tiny guys like this um these guys only weigh usually like two and a half or three pounds there's a few other very small breeds like that um some of them are wool breeds or short hair breeds or breeds with longer coats my silver foxes have longer coats and uh, all of those differences are described in that standard of perfection that arba keeps so the rabbit shows are people who have been breeding their rabbits to try and get the closest they can to meeting that standard. Um, and judges are brought in um, to compare the rabbits to each other and uh, see do they meet, which one comes closest to meeting that standard. And this, this they do that in local shows all over the country all the time. And I go to local shows quite frequently. Um, but this is the big, sorry, he had like a mat as well. Um, this is the big show that happens once a year, the ARBA convention, and it's a week long, and it's not just 
the show itself. It's not just judging the rabbits. They also have uh, educational, um, like a whole day of educational conferences. Um, the different rabbit clubs have their membership meetings and business meetings. Um, we get together with other breeders who breed our same rabbits and we'll go out to dinner and drinks and, and it's sort of like a great big family reunion slash learning conference slash judging. So there's a lot going on. There's a lot like going on. So I do have some pictures and a slideshow that I'm going to put up. Um, and I've got some captions on the pictures to kind of show what's going on with those. Um, and I will say like a lot, and there's, you'll see a lot of youth breeders in these pictures. A lot of the pictures I got have youth breeders. And that's one of the great things about this hobby. One of the things I really, really love about this hobby is that it is so encouraging to our youth. Um, kids, I think six is the youngest all the way up to 18. Um, not only do they get to participate in the shows with, you know, these rabbits, um, but they also have different, um, they call it the royalty club. Like they can, they can compete with each other. They can earn status, um, as a princess and a prince and a duke and a duchess and queen and king. Um, and, uh, that's all based on like their achievements that they've made. Uh, in this hobby, um, they can earn scholarships towards college, both from the ARBA and from uh, individual breed clubs, local clubs, national clubs. Um, they learn all about responsibility and sportsmanship um, and management and, you know, time management, record management. They learn, um, uh, what is the word I want to look, what use? Um, self-motivation you know how to how to do things for themselves like my daughter with these lion heads she's been she's been doing these for about a year she has to keep a schedule for herself to go out and groom these guys about once a week and make sure their wool doesn't get matted up um and practice posing them so that they get used to being handled and they stay gentle and calm like this sweet little fellow is um she breeds them, so she has to keep track of their genetics to know, you know, which colors, which varieties can be bred with which and what she's going to produce out of that um, in order to keep to the standard. And, at this, and also, you know, that they have the right body structure um, and, you know, that she's breeding the best ones with the best ones to attempt to improve the breed. Um, and it's, you know, and we all see it as a stewardship of whichever breed we are uh, participating with, that we want to keep that breed as uh, close to that level of perfection as we can. And we're always striving to better the animals in our barns. And then when we bring them to get together to compete, it just gives us that extra edge of um, encouragement that, you know, either we're, we're doing the right thing and we're getting, we're getting the right results at our rabbitry or, that we're able to see, okay, this is, this is the goal. This is where I want to be. You know, this is the kind of rabbit I want to be able to put up on the table. Plus they're just sweet, engaging little animals, you know, um, and they're, they're wonderful to have around they're calming. They're very calming influence. A lot of people love being in this hobby just because being with the rabbits keeps them calm, makes them happy. You know, um, I had one mom tell me a sweet story about her daughter who, had crippling anxiety in school and couldn't get up in front of the classroom and talk and um, just just had really severe issues with that for many years and then she got into rabbits and she was in the lion heads in particular in this past convention she actually got up and gave a presentation in front of a group of mixed adults and kids on the lion heads structure and how to evaluate its structure and its body type um, and how to groom it properly and did it with perfect poise um, and con and confidence and was able to answer questions and, you know, had, so just made huge strides in that way. And that, you know, being, being able to be in this hobby did that for her. Um, so yeah, so you'll see a lot of youth in these pictures. So enjoy the slideshow and I will be back to chat with y'all after it's through.
And welcome back and I hope you really enjoyed that I had a great time while I was there um, I learned a lot I had a fun time hanging out with my friends and making new friends um, I've started a new breed the creme d'argent uh, is a new breed for me I've just recently got those so I've got a new uh, creme d'argent doe who I've named maple I picked her up at convention and I got to meet a lot of the other creme d'argent breeders there um, I got to meet back up with some silver fox breeder friends that you know live across the country from me and so i don't get to see them but maybe once or twice a year at these shows it really is like a great big family reunion coming to one of these shows so that was the arba convention the 100th convention um it was a pretty big deal and um if you've made it this far and you're usually here for yarn and crochet and craft shows um, put a little rabbit emoji in the comments for me. Let me know that you made it to the end. And if you have questions about rabbit showing or about um, if you want to maybe come and see a show or, or anything like that, feel free to ask in the comments. Um, I'll be, be happy to answer any questions you have. And if I don't know the answer, I know somebody who can you know, figure it out for us. Um, and there will be more, of course, crochet content coming up. Um, and I do have another rabbit show coming up this weekend. So I may um, include a little bit of that in my next vlog as well. And um, I hope wish you all the best. Hope you have a great day. Bye.